Hi, church family. Here's some hope for Wednesday. So knowing who Jesus is will help us know who we are. Knowing Jesus' identity gets us understanding about our identity. And that's what we see in Hebrews chapter 3, verses 1 through 6. Uh, the first two chapters of this sermon have been all about Christ and the Christ who soared the heights of the heaven. That's chapter 1. Uh, and the Christ who descended below the angels, that's in chapter 2. Uh, the Christ of chapter 1, we see and feel his divinity. The Christ in chapter 2, we see and feel his humanity. Jesus Christ is 100% God and 100% human. And don't ask me to figure that one out. He is the unique and incomparable God-man who reigns in the heavenly realms. That identity informs our identity. And that's what I'm seeing here in Hebrews chapter 3, uh, verse 6, where the scripture says, And we are his house, if indeed we hold fast our confidence and our boasting in our hope. And we are his house. We are God's house. The scripture tells how Moses was a servant in the house of God. And, and then the scripture talks about how Jesus is the son over the house of God. But then this conversation about Jesus turns quickly to us. We are God's house. We are the residents of Almighty God. We are the domicile of uh, the divine uh, and I just want you to take that with you today, that, that God is dwelling in you by his Holy Spirit uh, because of God the Son. And I, so you'll never walk into a space today where you will be alone. Rather, you will walk into a space where you carry God uh, within the, the domain of your heart. And furthermore, when you meet with someone, you're going to be introducing God to them. By, by how is that? By, by the way you conduct yourself, your countenance, your demeanor, your attitude, the words that you say, the heart that you tell. Today, someone will meet God within the house of your life. And it's going to be a good meeting. So, God, help us all, wherever we are, to carry you with us in such an attractive, winsome way so that whoever we meet, that person will meet not just us, but you. And may that be a life-changing encounter, I pray in Jesus' name, the church said. Amen.